In this video, we will show you how to improve the accuracy of your arch model. This will increase the probability that the appropriate teeth are treated. An inaccurate arch model could result in the wrong teeth being identified and treated. An arch model is a representation of a patient's maxillary arch within the T-Scan software. It is a map of your patient's teeth. There are two methods for creating an accurate arch model. The first method, proportional modeling, uses the proportionality of human teeth to create the dental arch model. This method requires the measurement of only a single central incisor. The software then applies the rule of golden proportion to the central incisor width to calculate the remaining tooth sizes. Proportional modeling is the quickest of the two methods. Using a Bowley gauge or a digital caliper, measure the width of one central incisor. Enter this measurement into the central incisor width field. The remaining teeth sizes will be calculated automatically. If the patient has a diastema, measure both central incisors, then divide this measurement by two. If the patient has overlapped or missing centrals, measure the distance between the lateral incisors, mesial to mesial, and divide this measurement by two. To indicate missing teeth, click the drop-down menu next to the tooth that you would like to edit. If, for example, a tooth is missing due to orthodontic extraction, choose Missing Closed. If a tooth is missing due to recent extraction or tooth loss, choose Missing Open. Missing teeth where the spaces are closed are indicated with a red hash marked line. Missing teeth where the spaces are open are grayed out. The second method for creating an arch model is individual tooth measurement, which requires that every tooth of the maxillary arch be measured and entered into the tooth chart. This method will significantly increase the accuracy of the arch model. To do this, measure each tooth mesial distally. Enter the tooth size into the tooth chart. Continue until all maxillary teeth have been measured. The final step for creating an accurate arch model is using actual tooth contact data. Once you have completed either method, scan your patient's bite. Next, play the scan until all contacts are visible. Locate the most distal contacts within the arch model using the central incisor width tool. Increase or decrease the central incisor width until the distal tooth contacts are centered within the borders of the most distal tooth region of the arch model. Your arch model is now complete.